Hi, my name is Tobias Park, and I'll be your instructor as we explore the wonderful world of Lincoln-Douglas debate. I'm going to start off this course by reading you a quote from Roy Disney, who's the brother of Walt Disney. And this quote basically sums up the entire premise behind LD in a single sentence. And Roy Disney once said, quote, It's not hard to make decisions when you know what your values are, end quote. This statement represents the fundamental idea behind LD debate. You see, Lincoln-Douglas debate is all about values. It's very philosophical in nature. It asks why we do what we do, or why we should choose one particular option above another option. And thus, it contemplates how society should be structured. There are a lot of shoulds and oughts in LD because it talks about what we should and what we ought to do. So when I say that LD is about values, what exactly do I mean by that? Well, in pretty much every LD round, you have this ultimate concept that you value, and you consider that value to be higher and more important than any and all other possible values. Your value is the most important thing in the whole debate. It's the one thing that we care about. So according to logic and syllogism then, whichever side of the resolution or the debate topic leads you to that most important value must therefore be the most important side of the resolution or the most important side of the debate topic. That's how LD works. And that's also why LD is a values debate. It's very logical. And actually we do this kind of thinking all the time without even realizing it. We base our decisions off of this value structure in our everyday lives. So for example, let's look at some illustrations on the board here. Say you're looking to buy a car and you really, really want a car that's very safe. So basically then, you want to base your car buying decision off of safety. Because what you care about the most is being safe, you want to buy the safest car you can find. And you eventually decide to buy the green car because it has more airbags and is safer than the purple car. So you decide to buy the green car over the purple car. Okay, so we'll put a little check mark next to the green car. So believe it or not, you just did an LD value debate in your head. You said that your value, your highest value, the thing that you care about, is safety. And then you concluded that since the green car is more safe and the value of safety is most important, therefore you should buy the green car. So LD is a very logical, logical philosophical style of debate based on the way we sometimes make decisions in the real world. And in debate rounds at competitions, this is a lot of fun because your opponent, who's on the opposite side of the debate topic, he presents a different value and uses that to justify his side. So he might present the value of speed instead of the value of safety. And then you have to argue not only about which side is best, but about whose value is really highest. There's a clash between not only the sides, but the value. So he might say, well, speed is a higher value than safety. So we shouldn't use the value of safety. We should instead use the value of speed. So which of these cars is the fastest. And then the purple car might win because he might say, well, the green car is safer, yes, but we don't care about safety, we care about speed. That's the most important thing. And the purple car has the most speed. So the purple car, you should buy the purple car. The purple car wins the debate. And that's sort of how LD works. It's a very simplified version of it. And so you argue back and forth in this way and there's a clash between your positions and your values and it all gets very interesting. And that's part of what makes LD so much fun. And not only is LD fun, but it's very, very effective. So remember the Roy Disney quote I just talked to you about, how we, we base our decisions off of our values. He said that when talking about his decision to buy Pixar, which as we all know is the very famous movie company that produced films like Finding Nemo and Monsters Incorporated and Wally and Up and Inside Out and all those great movies. He based the decision, uh, Disney based the decision to buy Pixar off of values. And obviously this worked out because Pixar has made Disney a lot of money. Using values to make decisions is very, very effective. So another thing to note, LD doesn't look at specific policy as much. So it doesn't focus as much on the nitty gritty, but rather it takes a step back and it looks at the overall picture and how, at the decisions we make using this philosophical structure of values. So that's basically what LD is about. Um, so that's a nice quick little introduction into LD and we'll be learning about this much more as we go on in this course.